Today, we're going to talk about the basic process from drawing to finish the painting. Two pieces of paper, they're bold, arches, cold pressed watercolor paper. You can use other paper if you want, like say a smoother texture. I'm going to make this to be a card. I have a few format of greeting card envelope at different sizes. I believe this is could be the, the biggest size. And I have some a little bit medium size. So I'm going to probably use this piece of paper. I'm going to fold it this way. This is what would be the front. So when I prepare to paint, I make sure I paint it on this side, not the inside. So after you fold it, and you can use a watercolor brush, click a bee, uh, the message in the back, and then you ship it out. Right. So it's very important you plan this before you start using the paper. Now I'll take a look at the envelope that I am going to use. This one too small. Take it out. And take a look again. This one is envelopes too big. Okay. And I'm going to take a look at this too. Oh, this one is perfect. All right. That's the great width. And take a look at this one. This one may be going to be too tight. But you just choose the envelope that you really like, the size that you feel good about it, and the quality is good enough. I'm going to take a look over here. This is the perfect width. Now I'm going to take a look at it. If I put it in when I finish, I make sure I leave a little room. Now this is each mark on this edge. Okay. This is would be the top of the green card. Don't fold it yet, okay? You are going to fold it after the whole painting dry and remove the tape and then scroll this line and then fold it. How to scroll it, I use a metal chopstick. And I'm gonna draw just very lightly, a little line, so easy to erase after. Okay, this is good. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tape the paper. It's very important. A lot of people, they fold the card and then just paint on top of the card and with that stretch of holding the border. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to use the half inch artist tape. So I don't really need that much wide. I don't, need, I don't use the three quarter. I don't use the one inch. That will be too big. So now I'm going to make sure this side line up. This is nice. This just leap about like uh, one eighth between one eighth and a, a quarter inch. Okay, that's just good. I'm going to leave that as the border. I'm going to tape it down. Now I'm going to on this side. After the card folded, so you want to also have this, the top also have the same border. Now I'm going to put one more. This is only to create the border. Now the same space. Beautiful. Now this paper is attached to the board. We're going to draw, which is the main object. I composed this reference. So this is a very unique reference. Uh, I'm going to have the snowman as the dominant object. You can add anything you want to. Like for example, the person that, the person's going to receive this, this gift from you. And she has been moving into a new house, for example. And you can get her house to replace the house on the right hand side. Or maybe that is their vacation house that they been went to in the last year. That would be a good place for you to manipulate the reference. And also something that are this may be one of her favorite scarf that that you gave it to her last year. You can put that over here to replace it. And maybe some other things that you can replace. Uh, in the reference, so make it more meaningful, make it more, um, you know, have personal message and connection. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at 
uh, the snowman, the top is going to be here then. I get it. Do it simple. And then if the snowman over here is roughly look like a triangle, right? So it looks like this. Draw lightly like that. Just coming down right here like this. Use a dotted line. That will be fine. So this is the location for the snowman. Also think about the bottom of the landscape. It probably here, like a little bit lower. It may be just one third from the top to the bottom, right? Like this. I'm going to put it there. And one thing at a time, find it and put it down so that it will remind you for yourself. Okay, this is good. And if you use the eraser, I would recommend using the knit eraser. It's so much easier, much cleaner. You don't have any duds created. Okay, this is good. And the tree will be here, the mountain in the back, and the house over here. So I'm also going to, uh, let's come back to the house a little bit later. Whether or not I want to keep this as the bottom of the, uh, of the horizon, of the hill. Right. So let's take a look at if this is the top of the snowman and then you can divide it. I think that uh, the top of the scar is just right a little bit higher than the middle line. So and the whole scar is kind of like a taking part in the middle. So I'm going to put that here. The scar would be here. Here you go. Like that. And here you go. When you got the scarf, everything falling into place. It's so easy. Okay. That's a little bit wider. Like that. And also based the person receiving your car, you can make the snowman a little bit thinner, a little bit bigger, and totally up to you. Okay. And this is good. Like that. And the face of the snowman. Or the snow boy. Or the snow girl. Okay. However you want it. Okay. Here you go. Like that, and the head. Uh, keep in mind, everything you can change. Okay, this is only a reference. You can change the color of the head. You can change the shape of the head. Okay, give a little bit more time doing some drawing study, making your mind. Okay, I probably don't really need that height on the top over here. I'm going to leave the edge a little bit white to showing like a snow. Okay, this is good. And the carrot over here. Okay, about one third from the left to the right. Okay, right over here. One, two, three. Everything you can divide it into proportion. Okay, that's good. And one eye over here and one eye over here. Okay, you can replace anything you want. Okay, that's good. Like that. Maybe the scarf over here, I'm going to have a little bit bigger. Like that, change the shape. And there's three button. Oh, you can make it two. It doesn't need to have three, right? Simple. I think I like this placement of this snow, man. Now I'm going to take a look at the house over here. And take a look at the angle. Angular measurement. Okay, here you go. You can make it bigger, make it smaller. It's totally up to you. Okay, look at that. And keep in mind, change it, make it more personal. Okay, like that. Okay, that's good. And if you want, you can move the house a little bit closer. The snow, snowman, or the snow boy, the snow girl. Or you can make it a little bit away. It's totally up to you. Okay. Now I'm going to have the tree over here. Okay. There's some tree. And you don't have to make everything realistic either. Okay. You can keep that uh, a little bit more free. Okay. It'd be a lot more uh, romantic. Okay. Here we go. That's good. That's the suggestion for the tree. And I have a lot of suggestions for the mountain. I don't have to draw much about the mountain. So I just gonna paint it. Okay, this is good. And we're gonna work in 
in the background before we going into the snowman. Okay, we're just gonna paint the outside first. Okay, and if you see my last videos about using only watercolor in the whole process of watercolor painting, and you can try it. And based on this, uh, this video may be viewed by all different level of members. And I decided to use the, draw, the, the graphite pencil uh, for this step. But I would prefer you just directly working into the watercolor. It was a lot more fun. Okay, are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna start working into the background. Okay, uh, even though the, this painting is very, very tiny, but I'm still going to use the flat brush. Okay, now this is one inch flat brush. I'm gonna show you how to use it. And there's the click of brush, okay. Here you go. I'm gonna wet the brush, prepare it. Here we go. Now, how to mix this color? If this is all the color I left over from last painting section. You can mix the color just with these three primary colors. It's very easy to mix. Right, the red with the blue color will mix very much a gray color. And they have a little bit purplish color. This is the color look like. And if you have a little bit yellow and mix into it, it will become a little bit more gray. And depends on if you have more yellow red, it will be more like a brown gray color. If you have a little bit more uh, yellow and the blue, it will be more like a greenish uh, gray color. Right. All right. Let's take a look. And I'm gonna take a look at the color over here. Already have it over here. I'm gonna have a little bit more blue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the blue color over here. I already have it. This is good. And think about how dark the color you want it to be, okay? So I'm gonna paint the top over here first and then paint the color over here. So that means the top over here have a little bit more purplish. So that means I'm gonna use, use a little bit more red mix into it, this is good, right? Very, very simple. Okay, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna start from the top. I'm gonna to try to do it like as simple as one, two, three. Okay, uh, when you paint, make sure you see the top of the snowman's head, okay? Like that, that's good. You can paint all the way to the right to the right side like this. Okay, that's fine. So the first round serve as wet the paper. Here you go. Coming down over here, and then just wet the paper. And think about the rooftop. And here you go. I'm gonna have this rooftop and wet this like that. That's good and then protect the white space on the rooftop. Here you go. Like that, perfect. Okay. And then coming onto this side. Take your time. Okay, here we go. Now, and I'm gonna have a little bit blue color. Okay, a little bit blue. I'm gonna coming down over here with this a little bit blue, a little bit closer, a little bit lighter, a little bit more blue. But you cannot leave it just white because otherwise the snow body won't show. So you have to have some kind of colors, right? Like that, that's good. And also the same thing on this side. Okay, here you go. It will be very, very simple. And here you go. I'm gonna just use the water, take a little blue, and coming from here, and I maybe make it even a little bit darker because I want a little bit more clear, a little bit more contrast between the background and the snowman's face. That's good. That, perfect. And some snow on the, on the tree, I'm gonna use the uh, white paint to create it. So this is good. Now we just wash the whole background 
And right now, I'm going to just going to take a little bit more blue from here. Okay, this color a little bit darker. This is good. Now it's just going to, that's getting dry on the top over here. This is good. I'm just going to paint a little bit darker blue color for the mountain. Okay, here you go. Like that. And also on this side. There you go. Let it wet into wet. All right, that's good. Like that, tap on it. All right. And whatever texture you create, that will be fine. It is going to look like something going on in the background, right? All right, let's take a look at. I'm going to clean the brush, let go all the wet. Now I'm going to come back over here, just tap on it to have a little bit lead the paint coming down. And I'm going to let go some of the excess paint outside of the painting. Not let it coming back to uh, the painting again. Okay, here you go. Like this. This is good. Now, while we're waiting for the outside settle, and we are going to do something inside uh, the snowman. Okay. I'm going to use just the calligraphy brush. Now actually going to lead the outside paint just coming around like this. There's just no water and wet going back into the background. Okay, so no worry. It just don't want this look too straight. Too much corner. Okay, here you go. Okay, I think this is pretty good. It looks like a smiley. Snowman. This is good. All right. This is a very good foundation. And the next thing I'm going to do, and we're going to wait a little bit before we brush um, the water onto the, uh, the background, make it look like snowing. Okay. At this point, I'm going to set a little color to the house. Okay. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to take Take a look. I'm going to have a little red. There's a little bit too much blue. So add a little red to it. But I don't want it to be too dark. The house is still in the distance, right? So I'm going to do, do it a little bit carefully. Don't touch the top. Because it's still wet. So I'm going to paint this from here down. That's good, like that. And coming over here, that's good. And a little bit over here, I'm gonna leave that a little bit gap. Like I'm seeing suggestions for of those uh, a brush. Like that, coming down over here. That's good. Like that. We got paying around. Okay. Like that. Now the house is created. Very simple. Now I'm going to have this a little bit softer. Let the color come in. Okay. That's good. I mean, on this, I'm going to have a little bit blue color. So it doesn't really look like all the same. So I'm going to have a little bit blue. It's the same value. Here you go. Like that. Here you go. So I suggest that. Very nice. Okay, that's good. Gonna have a little bit shadow underneath. All right. Now I'm going to also add a little bit darker texture over here and a little bit cast shadow. That's good. Now that's look like a house already. Okay. Now and an outside over here. Now I'm going to start just have a little bit of color, but between the value in the background and the color in the shadow of the, the house. 
and I'm gonna just have a little bit more like a yellow as well so I'm gonna open up the brush making it open a little bit and let's see I'm just going to have a little bit more like this this that it's very interesting it's gonna create the suggestions for the trees okay I'm gonna also change the angle of this line moving a little bit more like that that's good okay no worry okay whatever you are doing if you when it's still wet it will create suggestions for something and also on this side have a little bit more tree like that and let it settle it, you're going to see how it's going to come out okay don't do too much okay that's good that's good and the bottom over here have a little bit I have a little bit blue and the bottom over here too keep it wet okay that's good and the front over here I'm gonna have a little bit over here showing so a little, but you don't have to do that much okay like that okay I think this is doing good Okay, a little bit, a little bit more. That's fine. Okay, pointing into the snowman too. This is good. Maybe on this side, have a little bit too. Okay, this is pretty good. And you see that? That effect is a star occurring. So, don't worry, don't rush. Okay, have a little bit blue. Have a little shadow over here. Like this fingers into the water splash it you see that is no effect a curve already I'm gonna mix a little bit red into here this is good uh, not a fresh red color now here we go now I'm gonna painting around the border of this snowman's head and we can come back to do a little bit more if you want to after you drive okay that's good okay this is a little bit yellow just paint the yellow on and I'm gonna take the red color okay and I'm gonna from the bottom which is a little bit darker like that now this carry has a little bit more dimension this is the red shade blue color so I'm gonna just put it over here I think that color a little bit interesting a little bit warmer I'm gonna here you go like that and give a little dry brush just a little very thin color for the eye let's getting into it so you don't have to make it a perfect round circle it just just looks like any piece of stone that will be fine I'm gonna put this and I have a little bit snow at the corner here you go like that I say oh I want something a little bit darker okay here right. I'm gonna give a little detail like this so very simple painting watercolor okay here you go I can have a few dots over here so show it like the catch the shadow from the snow okay that's good. Okay, expand that. That's good. All right, and the head looks just pretty good. And our, um, and also going to have just a little bit catch the shadow from the from that. That looks good. Now I'm going to take a look at the house. Now I'm going to just add just slightly little bit darker but don't make it too dark because they need to be belong together in the distance okay a little bit window on the side over here tree trunk okay all the way down over here that's already good enough they draw the tree trunk before we draw the small branches okay this okay take a look coming down over here that's good and this one like this and a little bit stop 
like that that's good and all right now i'm gonna start painting the shape okay here you go okay a little bit of shape right over here so some also smaller line for some smaller tree that has a little shape like this here you go let's see the shadow okay like this very nice and i'm gonna have some a little white paint on top of the scar that's fine that's good and i'm gonna have a little bit white paint on top of the tree over here just a few don't overuse it okay just like that a little bit line over here a little bit over there just a very little showing that the snow on the top hey okay, look a look over here this is this group like that a little bit group right over here here you go like this I'm going to hair dry the painting now this is all dry this is great now this painting is ready what I want to do make sure the painting is all dry before you do this Okay, let's get one, two. Remove off the pencil marks. There you go. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna use the back support of this drawing paper. A straight ruler. And this is metal chopstick. Ready? Press it really hard. Okay, do it one more time. That's as good. I'm gonna erase the pencil. That's good. Make it beautiful and clean. And now you can see this is very, very deep. Let's fold it. You see that? That's very easy to fold. Okay, that's good, like that. All right, I'm gonna just release the top. I'm gonna to use the utility knife. I'm gonna do that first round softer. And then a little bit harder. Here you go. Now your greeting card is finished. And you can write your personal message in here and then get the envelope. It's ready to, to go. And this is perfect size. Write the address, put the stamp and the mailman as it's gonna bring your love to the other end. If you're a member on Patreon, you can watch the full video in the membership area. To find out other benefits as a member, go to patreon.com slash youngchen. And for a limited time, you can download these two books on Gumroad. Thank you for your support. I'm looking forward to see you in our next video.